Just hi, and welcome to another episode of WTFX Podcast. If you're feeling a little light, lightheaded today, uh, you might want to leave Colorado or Florida or one of the other states. We're talking about light, and you might need your uh, whole head for this one. Um, today, I'm joined by my co-hosts, David. Yo. Sean. Hola. And Phil. Tim, I really think you need to lighten up. Oh, my God. And even if none of us have any fucking clue what we're talking about, we'll be bringing you a to- the topic of lights. Not the Christmas lights. Not not the ones that attract Phil and, and bugs. Not the cute singer? Not the cute singer. Who? What? Lights? Oh, lights. Man. She makes uh, electronic music. She is adorable. So, She's the cutest. Okay. All right, then. No, we'll be talking about photons, whether it's a particle or a wave or whatever. Any topic, anything related to light and the physics thereof. So, um, go. Dude, it's your show. Yeah. Lead us off. You can't, you, can't, tell us to go. you can't yell go. You have to start. <laughs> I've been called off on that yeah. bullshit and fixed it. You got to start, man. Have I been called out on that? Have you? Or is it another one of Dave's nope. Mandela effects? David's Mandela effects. No, it's I've not been called out on that. Effect. That's an actual phenomenon, so that people That's, believe that, it. That, 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 just because people believe in it doesn't mean it's an actual phenomenon. Okay, it, guys, light. It's a phenomenon. Light. It doesn't necessarily light. mean. Light is also a real. phenomenon. Let's not talk about the Mandela effect. Let's talk about the effect of hey, light. Hey, fuck on... you, Phil. He called me out. I did. Look, <laughs> I understand. David, <laughs> you're a <laughs> bitch. Your Nelson Mandela dick is bigger okay. than his. Okay. Okay, you know what, Phil? <laughs> shut up. Let let Tim talk. Oh my God! Okay. You're trying to steer us back in, uh, on course is not actually steering us back on course because you're still talking. Better than you two arguing about the Mandela effect. So light, it's uh, a thing. I don't I don't know where to start. You, you, you didn't do research, did you? You guys really didn't, didn't do research either, so fuck off. I read that yeah. Wikipedia article you linked me to. Suck a dick. You didn't even skim it, did you? I did that time, but it's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> that time? <laughs> do you know how many times I've, I've, I've wiki been physics shit and just been like 3 a.m. looking wiki at... Wiki binging. Yeah, you've never heard of wiki binging? It Ooh. almost always ends with Hitler. Yeah, it it does. almost always does <laughs> yeah. end with Hitler. And speaking of which, let's see. I'm on the the wiki page, and there you cannot. There is no. Oh, there's no mention of Hitler. There's no. There, you can that. find a way to trace it back. There always is. It's six degrees of Kevin Bacon with Hitler. Six degrees it's of Hitler six Bacon. Of Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I beat you to it, didn't I, Sean? Yep, I did. <laughs> No, uh, I was going to say that, Baker, though. No, Hitler. okay. Wow. Just, so yeah, this show is going great. Oh yeah, it is. It's. it's you might say we're a little. You might say we're a little light on inspiration. Well, <laughs> this shit over here is lit. Oh man. I'm not it's making a it photon fun. of fun. Memes. You say a photon of fun, Tim? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> you fucking dill hole. <laughs> uh, Tim didn't do his research, and neither did any of us. Yeah, so... Because um... I uh, I know shit about light. It's not a science I know a lot of, so I was here to learn. Yeah, I that's know, what I, I do know, know see, 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 see. about it. It's just, where do you start off? I mean, like, where do you start? Like, All right, Tim. All right, Tim. Massive. Explain to me the concept of light. Ah, okay, light as a concept is... It, it behaves it, both as a wave and a particle. Shut up. David, said David, Shut David up. your name's not Tim. <laughs> I know you want to wave your side stick all around. We need <laughs> Tim's flash no, flashlight, not yours. Hey, hey, that's drunk, okay. drunk science dick to you. <laughs> yeah, no, you drunk is, is really a dick. David, David, our I drunk science show didn't go anywhere. Us. Electromagnetic no, radiation. That was not certain our fault. Now shut up. So Tim me. Light is an electromagnetic radiation within a certain portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. That said, it also it that is only speaking about visible 
And there's multiple forms of light. Infrared, meaning below the red spectrum, spectrum, and ultraviolet, meaning above the violet spectrum, which is the beginning and the end, respectively, of the visible spectrum of light. The first, the first scientist to talk about and try and figure out most of the physics of light from most people's, from, from most scientific perspectives, is Albert Einstein. As everyone is is all over his case and love him to death in the standard model. Um, I mean, he's pretty dope. He is pretty dope, but like even he admitted at the time that there were holes in his model and he really wasn't sure where to fix them or how to fix them all. And it's an incomplete theory that they've been trying to piece together for, yeah, a long time. Um, he's so cute when he... <laughs> <laughs> what did Phil I... just die? <laughs> so, I, sorry, I. What I said was he's so cute when he gets passionate about things. Were you talking about me or Einstein? Yes, you. I thought you were going to talk. I thought you were talking about Einstein for a second there, and I'm like, no, wow, Einstein bro. is dope, and you're all passionate about this, and it's 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 endearing. Einstein did have them legs. We've all seen the picture. He does oh my have God. nice legs, bro. Like he had those legs went all the way up. Like, weird. <laughs> <laughs> it went all the way up to his, you know, ass, and then his torso. Exactly. His legs do that. That's no, no, some people just have this weird section where, uh, There's where no legs. the legs separate to the middle, and then some people just don't have legs. Uh, most people know that light is produced by heat, and uh, typically heat is produced by the excitation of matter. Although it doesn't necessarily mean that something that's hot is going to be. It luminescing it depends on the the substance that's being heated. Right. Um, we also have things that are you know cool to the touch. For instance, the aurora borealis is luminescent, but it's luminescent because there are particles in the atmosphere that get charged by the radiation coming in, hitting it, and refracting off the particles in there. It's like a plasma. Yeah. A cold plasma, which is one of the reasons, which is, leads us to the electric universe model again, which is almost, you know, we almost always get there somehow or another, don't we? Yeah. Every time. Pretty much. I mean, you guys are nerds, so yeah. You are one to talk. Hey, man. I know. You know I don't if, worry. If they <laughs> manage to actually prove the electric sun model with their sapphire experiment, I will be really fucking impressed. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah if, if they can prove it, yeah, it's. If everything's proved, that means, oh, well, all right, then. That's but, uh, cool. The model makes so much fucking sense, though. I mean... Yeah, but David, wouldn't the sun run out of batteries? No. <laughs> <laughs> he answered and then realized I was trolling him. No! Oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I was about to explain why, but fuck you, you're a dick. Fuck, man. <laughs> what, we, what it does, we'll just sit like... A team of astronauts up there to plug in the charger, okay? Yeah, no, but uh, but with uh, because since we're on what the is that noise? Uh, since we're on the subject of uh, electric universe, um, their idea, their theory for how uh, uh, supernovas happen is basically that it can happen at any time. It's when the uh, the dipolar connection uh, to the galactic circuit is interrupted at one. Of the poles, it causes a destabilization of electric current <coughs> into the sun or the star in question, and it just explodes. <laughs> so, right. under this theory, it could happen at any time. <laughs> so, basically, Fantastic. our uh, entire solar system are Christmas lights. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Happy Christmas. So, the equation of the speed of light that everyone knows E equals MC square is uh, most people don't actually know that this is not, it's not a, um, doesn't apply across the board. Technically, yes, you can use the equation anywhere, but that is the calculation for speed of light within a vacuum. And when you get it into th spaces that are non-vacuumed, you have other things that get added into that equation and change how the light acts and the speed at which it travels. Okay. Which I'm not really sure about those, because uh, you know I had I when I brought this up I thought of all these cool experiments that I looked up before 
getting on here and like there's all these there's some amazing experiments going on right now with light and electro the electromagnetic spectrum in attempts to both prove the electric universe model disprove the electric universe model and just to fuck around with light like one guy one uh, one experiment they've done has managed to basically excuse me take a photon or a beam of beam of light and use electromagnetic waves to squeeze it like basically press it on one side and make it no longer take a, a uniform shape and most of the light that we've observed has a uniform shape it goes right. in one direction in one shape and typically always spreads out the typically we don't see red the lasers they use red because it's it's the fastest wavelength but they've got green lasers and blue lasers and i own a green laser lasers. they are fucking gnarly they are cool. I really want a burning laser, like really. Um, mine will. You have to hold it there for a little while, but it will. I have. I, have, I like. I, I want. Light, neat. I want to light cigarettes with it, like from across the room. I see someone looking for their lighter, and I just like. Oh man, that would them. that would a uh, that you would probably burn their face first trying to get the laser on the cigarette. Not if I was a good enough shot. I mean, true. All right. I don't think you are though. I don't think I am either, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to practice I mean, like a dummy. I mean, I mean, I'm not either, so like, I'm not saying I can do it either. Just, but... like, just like stick a cigarette <laughs> in a dummy's mouth and you know, fake yeah. the uh, mannequin and just aim for the cigarette from like 20 yards away. We go to Tim's house, there's a magic mannequin with bird marks everywhere. <laughs> no, it just smells like plastic and there's no yeah. mannequins, just puddles. It's like, <laughs> it's like, you never did get the trick to work, did you? No. No, no. How I many ran. mannequins did you use? 15. I can't afford any more. I can't afford it. I ran out of batteries two days ago. I can't even light my cigarettes. I mean, I got, I got I a lighter. All my it's just not, the same. it's just not the same. Wow, my cigarettes taste like lights now. I'm trying to imagine what that would taste like. It's just, I don't know. I imagine your tongue would be burned. Yeah, probably. That, that was a double talk like entendre. Dead. You guys realize that was a multiple entendre? You know, light cigarettes. Yeah. Ah, look at you. Ah, I, I actually did. did I actually did, did not notice you're, that. You're, you're finally getting it, Morty. Yeah, oh, oh, jeez, Rick. Yeah, I'm still the dildos. <laughs> Dude, Rick is a dildo. Yeah, Rick he is. is a dildo. <laughs> He's such a prick. So... Yeah, you among theories right about the among theories about things people thought were associated with light, um, you know, people used to think that if you could travel past faster than the speed of light, that you could travel through time. Hence, the entirety of the Flash's time travel abilities. Um, they used to think that. Let's see, in classical, in Greek, Hellenistic, in fifth century BC. Let's see. They had five elements, four elements. They are fire and water, and clearly light was fire. Well, they in one they experiment, they were the actually light. able to produce solid light. Oh, yeah, that was great. They took the, the way that they did that is they, um, they fire, they filled a chamber, a vacuum sealed chamber with a specific gas and fired these lasers into it. Mm. And when the lasers hit the medium and collided with the other lasers, they slowed down and created wow. solid st shapes. The, I don't think they lasted very long outside of the gaseous medium. Cause once yeah, the, I doubt it. So we can't use them to make light cycles yet. Yet, but yeah. Sean, Sean, but I can't have I can't have hard light there. from Destiny. We're yeah, getting Sean, there. what about hard light from Halo? Fuck off, right? <laughs> uh, what about I? I mean, now that they've also practiced. There's also the light squeezing thing. This means that we have learned how to shape and produce light in such a way that we could make a very, 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 very large lightsaber. It would probably be about the size of a bus, but it would be a lightsaber. I feel, Nobody could pick I, it feel, up. I feel ready to try. I feel ready to try making a bus sized <laughs> lightsaber. And, right? and then, and yeah, no, let's do it. And then and people the would totally start making like dildos ma uh, constructed out of hard light. <laughs> well, hards are in the name. <laughs> right? <laughs> David. Future. What? It's, it's, it's this. Morty, just stop. What? Cat? 
you have nothing to do with this conversation. You have nothing to do with light. Our fifth host, Tim's cat. Yeah, now he's back again. Named after a little. She's just trying to lighten the mood. From... Yeah, ha 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 ha. You're a photon of fun, man. Thanks, man. You really light up my life. So, this, uh, um, before we get this more podcast is start touching on for shafts or something. Um... <clears throat> ha! Sean. <laughs> oh. All right, I've, 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 guys. Somebody else pick up and and, and say something about light. I, Sean, Bill broke me. <laughs> Dave, this is on you, buddy. This isn't my yeah, wrong side of knowledge. Ooh, ballistic <laughs> photon. What? I'm sorry. I'm looking at. Um, I'm looking through the the, the, the Wikipedia thing, and I apparently I haven't seen this. Ballistic photons are the light photons that travel through a scattering turbid medium in a straight line known as ballistic photons if a laser pulses if a laser pulses are sent through a turbid medium such as a fog or a uh, this makes me okay so apparently that scattering effect is called ballistic photons oh okay i, I thought it was something much more fun than that <laughs> it's like not as excited ballistic for guns. photons <laughs> ballistic photons that sounds great yeah Damn it. Anyway, uh, um, Tim, I got a I got a question about light. What's that? It's about lasers. Why it's... do Why do the bad guys use green lasers and the good guys use red lasers? I always thought it was the other way around. For whatever. Nope. Nope. Tie fighters and stormtrooper guns shoot green lasers. No, stormtrooper guns shoot red because all rifles shoot red, but tie right. fighters shoot green. Next wing shoot red. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably because they just wanted to make sure that the different uh, the different shots looked different to so that people could tell who was shooting who. If it all was like you know lasers, you know all red lasers, then it was just like a random. Have you ever played that game? Like it, it, it's it's this sandbox game and it's two dimensional and if there's a laser element in there and if you fire it off with a bunch of mirrors and metal everywhere it just becomes this red haze of bullshit. That's what Star Wars would look like if all the lasers were red, and that's why they have red and green lasers. I would honestly wish I honestly wish they would mix it up. I wanted blue and purple lasers too. And shit. Like, that is a very good answer, Tim. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all just to make it look good. Can you hear me still? Yep. Yep. Okay, good. Or bad. I don't. I don't know. I don't like you guys. You don't like what? I don't like you guys. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm kidding. Well, shit. I mean, I like you guys about as much as I like anybody. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Yeah. I'm like the fuck up. That means he doesn't like you. <laughs> well, fucking well, lick my taint, all right? Ouch. That's Ew. probably why he doesn't like you. That's fine. That's... I'm fine with that. <laughs> so. So, light, Tim, light. Light. In <laughs> today's episode, Tim learns if he's going to have a show subject, he needs to be ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we don't have to just stick to the to the science of bits of it. We could talk about pop culture and shit like that that has used or misused the concept of light, the speed of light, the power of light, blah 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 well, blah, blah, blah blah. Well, and it's really kind of stupid. Like, okay, here let me let me go on just the philosophical concept of light versus darkness. Like. Nobody realizes that everybody goes, oh, my God, you got to use the light, be towards, go towards the light and realize, you know, an overabundance of light an overly intense light burns everything. So pure light is a, in a philosophical theory is fucking stupid and pure darkness is cold as piss. So, again, fucking stupid. So yeah, but like, I, I, I think I think the whole light and dark thing is more a metaphorical leaning yeah. towards the light always being good because it's godly. And dark being bad because of you know evil. I don't think they literally mean walk into the bright light. It's not. It's only no. That's not. It's not even a culturally 
it's not just us. I mean, I mean, excuse me. It is just mostly us, Western culture. Like uh, studying the yin yang, it's one thing. Light and dark are are aspects. You can't create light without creating a shadow. You literally can't. It goes on long enough, it's going to hit a solid object, and that solid object's going to cast a shadow, and therefore creates darkness. So, like, it, it, it's, it's Unless just... Unless you exist in a formless white void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go to the hyperbolic okay, time David. chamber. <laughs> that was... So, uh, apparently, for a moment, he was uh, existing in the state of... His two states at once, much like a photon. He was his emo teenage high school self and he was also the adult existentially I was never emo self. bullshit it wasn't wow never. I was an well, asshole I went, to, I went to school with him like I can back it up once again I, you two have known each other so long I hate you both for it it's alright yeah well fuck you David, <laughs> we hate the both of us too don't worry David seems like he was the type of guy to skip school to smoke at coffee shops this is, uh, yeah, no, he did consistently he always drink coffee in high school. He brought his own coffee in like a thermos. No, actually, back then I drank ridiculous amounts of Coke. Oh, yeah, you did. You didn't start coffee till like later on. I, I, back then I did ridiculous amounts of Coke, so we're kind of on the same page. <laughs> you would bring like two liters yeah. to school. See, I was going to say that's a really bad, that's a really bad cocaine habit. David. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, baby. I mean, I, I mean, most people, most people settle for you know, shooting it up or snorting it, but dude, you're drinking it, really? That's it's cool. new. It's new, baby. Yeah. You can't, you, you, you can't shoot up cocaine. That's crack. And heroin. heroin. Yeah, you don't shoot up cocaine, Tim. Whatever. Or who's, you, playing you, with you, a, who's playing with a sex toy? Let's go there first. <laughs> it's a razor thing. Yeah. Man, what the fuck are you fucking with I've a heard, razor? I've heard Why a lot are you of fucking things. Razor? I shave, and I I've don't heard a like lot. The you whole can, you're shave. gonna do that during the show. I've heard no a lot of things that never. buzz at that frequency, and they weren't razors. No <laughs> Look, man, Tim just wants to pleasure himself for the audience. Who are you to judge? I'm not gonna judge. I just want to know. Like, I'll he buzz wants mine to out. Enlighten yeah. them. Like mine moans. Oh. <laughs> it does. He's yeah. not lying. It's really weird. Oh my fucking god! Why? <laughs> Wait, are you not aware of that? Oh, dude. I, I'll tell. The, I'll tell this in the show. It's a fun story in the show. Why the Guys, fuck? So, all right. Hold on. So, so, go along with the story. You need to demonstrate it. Uh, it's it's like put away. I'm not dragging it out. What Damn the it. fuck? Um, okay. So I ordered some shit off Amazon. Right. I ordered a book for mom and like. I'm ordered... dropping out now. Uh, it... No, I'm kidding. Okay, go on. Tim, 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 it's funny. Just go with it. All right, so I ordered like a book for mom, like a Lego so set to build and display on my TV. I go, I'm at work where my TV shelf is. I had an empty space. I go, oh, I want that right there. So I order it, and it doesn't show up. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I get a different box. And I think, okay, my stuff's in the box. All right, cool. I'll put it up. And there's just. Um, What's in the box? I'm getting to that, Tim. Shut up. That was a reference. I know it was. Calm down. Uh... So in the box is this long, slender thing that's wrapped in plastic. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is not what I ordered. So before I even do anything, I call them up and they're like, oh, yeah, OK, well, no, I'm sorry. I thought it was stolen first. Called them. They're going to send me a replacement. Later in the day, I actually get a different box. I'm like, oh, maybe this is my stuff right here. Maybe they marked it wrong, whatever. So now I have my stuff coming again. I'm like, oh, fucking cool. I get two of each, whatever. Here's this, this thing wrapped in plastic. I'm going to open it up. Pull the plastic off. It's just a plain white box. I'm thinking, what the fuck is this? Pull it out. There is just a fucking mag light fucking sized fake vagina. And <laughs> I, I'm, I am laughing about this already. <laughs> I am already. It's already funny to me. Was it a flashlight? I, no, it wasn't actually uh-huh. a flashlight. But I mean, that's what it looked like. It, it's that same design. The plastic fucking like fancy looking design with a fucking fake vagina inside it hey, hey what so did, what did we learn from uh zach and mary making porno yeah i'm gonna flesh hold on feels like i'm not i'm not done with the fucking story yet so i'm sitting there and i'm talking to phil and a couple other friends on live i'm like yeah so i just got this i'm sending a picture of it and shit i'm like oh man it's got controls i bet it vibrates press the button starts vibrating i just let it sit for, for a couple seconds 
and the fucking thing starts moaning. <laughs> and I mean, we all hear it at once, and there's just silence. And like one of our friends goes, "Is it fucking moaning?" Yeah. Who was in Dallas that said that? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> like the thing fucking mo- and they're not even like oh. good sounding moans. It just like, sounds like she's crying. It doesn't sound like, like bad porn star moaning. You sound bad. Thing, no, yeah. no, no, no. See, I I know what that is. It was a Japanese product. All yeah, Japanese. could have been. You're all right. Japanese porn sounds like the females crying as they're as even yeah. if they're having fun. It almost it, every time. It almost every as time. someone that's masturbated to a lot of Japanese porn, he's not wrong. Okay. Yeah, I know. You mean hentai? No, hentai. I mean Japanese porn. Or both. It's still hit. Just judging a little bit, Phil. Sorry. I, I got you. <laughs> but yeah, so no, I, I, I generally have that in my judge, room right but now. Honestly, you're pretty fucked up, Sean. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's, um, I mean, I know I am. You're not, that's not surprising to me. You understand this. It's not a judgment. That's just, that's just helping you reach. <laughs> He's your, always been this way, Tim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not going to. This is him. nothing new. <laughs> Like again, David's uh, only literally one... fifteen years. <laughs> God damn it! Yes, <laughs> yes, I have. Sadly, yeah, we're fucked. Look, all the good times he and I have had together. There's no sadly there. Right? No, I know. <laughs> there's there's a lot of wow. We survived those years. I'm st- I'm still halfway convinced that we actually died. Oh we're yeah, living out I... like an alternate universe. Yeah, David, this is your hell. Our hell is Tim and Phil. Wow. <laughs> I thought this was okay. my hell. I thought this was my hell. It can't be your hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Tim, you're not special. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> quit, repeating, quit repeating your mother's abuse. Wow. Damn. I mean, you might be special, but you're not special. No, no, man. You're not coming back from that burn. <laughs> I, I, you know. Ouch. And I thought you were going to be nicer. <laughs> uh, I didn't directly insult him. Technically, that was a your mom joke. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's just a passive voice to your mom joke. Is no, that no. Voice? That wasn't really a your mom joke, buddy. Your mom? No, Tim, you, no, no, no. So anyway, uh, photons are supposed to have no mass, technically, according to physics, but ironically, the, they have to have mass for the entire equation to work. But miraculously, somehow, throughout everything else, they have to figure, they have to say, no, photons don't actually have any mass. So they both have mass and don't have mass. Ask Sean, if um, Sean I'll tell I have, you. this what is on. Asshole. Sean, this is this is so uh, this is super on topic. I swear. So does oh, does it oh emit boy. light? Does it emit light? Yeah. Oh does, my god! Does the fake? The... <laughs> <laughs> well, he did say it was like a mag light, so that's a valid question. Yeah. Right? No, it it does have a little LED on it, but that's about it. Hey, that counts. So it does emit light. Yeah. You're still on topic. Good job, David. Yep. Yay. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> on topic when no one else would. I wish I was in Fallout so someone could shoot me with a laser pistol. I would happily oblige. Or have it a you and me rifle. both. I don't like that. Well, I just go, I just straight go, like, Gatling laser on him or, or five crank musket. Okay. Oh my god, the fucking I hate the laser musket so fucking much. This is so do I. Honestly, they decided to pick make a new kind of laser weapon and that's what they did. Really? Somebody some redneck Jerry rigged a fucking laser a laser back together. You yeah, maybe if it had a limited ammo, ammo. I, would, I would care a little more, but no. I'm still using up ammo. Yeah, it, it, honestly there's nothing the unique mechanic of the laser pistol laser Musket is not all that entertaining or cool. Yeah, no, I agree. No, but had unlimited ammo cap of having, you know, Frank and Phil, 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 where the fuck are you? Why the I'm... fuck are you sounding like Optim- Optimus Prime? Yeah, your fucking yeah, connection shit. It sounded dude. like the Decepticons were trying to hack our transmission again. 
or like fuck you in the mouth <laughs> Man, with a robot was... dick. Dude, do you have Daft Punk over for a threesome? <laughs> 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 all right tim phil just wants it harder and better faster stronger <laughs> does he know that knowing is half the battle though that's gi yeah. joe <laughs> i know <laughs> he needs, and that's I mean, he needs they, to roll out we're both mattel i guess the well, hasbro hasbro yes yeah okay. not mattel you better Mattel. Oh, God damn you what? Oh, there's the fifth Jose. member. Hi, hi, Navi. Ironically enough, I'm pretty sure your hearing is good enough that if you said hi, she probably could hear you. Well, I just did. And yeah, wow. see? Yeah. She I think that was the I'm point, talking. Timmy. She, yeah, I know. She knows when you're talking about her. So what are you doing? I, you Nothing. The fucking Nothing at all. Oh. Why do you have your shit muted constantly? Because I was doing spawn. I'm not doing anything now. I was doing something. He was masturbating. Yeah, he had to be. Yep. No, I was putting laundry in. That was a light load. You couldn't wait until after the show to do that? Like, or before the show? When we were just fucking around playing video games? Really? It was my my bedding where the bug was. And I'd like to not be up all night waiting for it to be dry. Well, maybe you were up all night to get lucky. God, I wish I wouldn't be here. Yes, you would. You're not going to be lucky. None of us are. <laughs> uh, speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> we know, Tim. No, we can literally hear it. No, that was literally just a reference to the song. Oh, well, yeah, that's it. Um... Now the lights are shooting off in front of his eyes. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> no, it's not. So, No, um... that's acid. My bad. No, uh, that's acid. Speaking of acid, interesting thing here. One of the main uh, side effects of acid that is, you know, a hallucinate the halluc- one of the hallucinations is increased light sensitivity. So everybody likes why people love staring into mirrors. I thought that was just uh, <laughs> self-centeredness, but all right. No, most of them actually end up seeing all sorts of really stupid and crazy shit when they do it. I stared into a mirror and I was just like, dude, the mirror just keeps breathing. Oh, wait, I'm breathing, so the mirror's moving. Yeah, I stared in the mirror and had to look away because fuck a mongoly. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, man, I try to avoid looking at mirrors all the time. Seriously. I am a bit of a narcissist, though. Mm. I mean, you do look like Paul Hogan's time. son, illegitimate son. That's not oh. a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. Oh, my God, he kind of does. Doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really fucking does. He really kinda, fucking does. I kind of choose to believe that, like, like there's that there was some mistake about my conception now. Like, I, it's just, that's what actually happened, is that, like, it actually lines up. Like, if, if you look at, like, the year that Crocodile Dundee was released, it's the same year I was born. So, like, Crocodile Dundee had to be in America to shoot that movie. So, theoretically, Paul Hogan, Paul Hogan yep. what, who did I say? You crocodile. keep calling him Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> yeah, so he had Crocodile Dundee. He had to, Crocodile Daddy. Had to. Um... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I mean, I hope our listeners find this whole stupid show worth it just for that joke right there. <laughs> Me too. That, that was, was a good. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have topics anymore. We're just gonna. Do whatever the fuck. That seems to work best for us. <laughs> you know, it you know, always hey, has, hey, started they off get light and yeah, they get a good solid like twenty five minutes of topic before one of us fucks it up. Yeah, no, I th- he's right. I think this time it was more like five minutes. <laughs> fuck off, Tim. Oh, add it up. We've got like twenty five altogether. Fuck off. Hey, that could have been anybody's name. I was coughing. Hey, fuck off, Tim. It's usually you. You know, last week was you. I, I, last I, week, I thought it was Phil though. I oh, know. Last week it was me. The, I was drunk. Okay, and I snapped. that's the thing. Is I'm I'm the prince and you are the whipping boy. God, what are you? What, Hold what, on. Wow, Hold you're on. a prince. Let's, you're let's, a prince of a real shithole. Let's rewind that. How are you the prince? Because you know David's GM. Okay. You're you're not the prince, homie. I'm definitely not a queen. So I'm God. I mean, a little bit, maybe. Sweet! Let me go get my magnifying glass. Can you, uh, can you, uh, 
Oh, I can't make that joke. That would be. Uh... Can you find the guy whose initials start with D and T? Oh God! With that magnifying glass. God. Who was fucking clicking something? I'm gonna slap it. Probably Tim. Honestly, I thought it was you. So all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Bop it's it. Tim. Bop it. Oh my God. You guys. <laughs> You guys. David, 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 buddy. What do you mean, you guys? Oh, buddy. What do you mean, you guys? What do you mean, you people? Yeah. You people. Well, you know, getting back on subject, um, I don't have anything to talk about specifically about light itself, but I love the idea of moving faster than it. Oh, yeah. No. And I I hear NASA's uh, putting some work into that. On the topic of light and moving faster than the speed of light, name off your favorite concept of a faster-than-light travel. Does the uh, Event Horizon count? Yes. That was actually honestly going to be the one I was mentioning. That's pretty cool is folding space in half. Yeah, yeah. no, that's pretty fucking dope. I mean, I mean, let's let's make sure our destination is the right one when we do it, but, I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, let's not go through hell getting there. Although, you know... Couldn't hurt or hurt anything, you know. I mean, hey, speaking of uh, you get there. Been yeah, going no. through fucking hell for travel, man. My favorite facet in my travel is, is the warp in 40k. Shit's pretty cool. You gotta literally, literally travel bridges through hell, and oh hey, you might get, you know, you should hope your Geller field, field doesn't let demons in because you're fucking going straight through hell to go fast and light. Now that shit's pretty neat. Now this might <laughs> bring up some hurt feelings. As such, but oh boy. my uh, my favorite uh, form of FTL travel was always in Mass Effect, the relays. Yeah, no, I mean, Until oh, you mean hurt feelings because you know, fuck that game series and what they did to all of us. All right, gotcha. Yep. Let me rephrase that because you reminded me of something with the but yeah, no, the, the, the Mass. Oh yeah, that's cool too. You're right. I'm sorry, go. The fucking gates. Like, like, you know, on the same yeah. similar topic, I really like it was for the. Mostly for the action of it and the way that how that they could use it for that purpose. I liked Outlaw Stars. FTL. I don't genuinely it remember Outlaw Stars. It wasn't yeah. really all that unique. I mean, I remember it was good. It's just but a general I don't gate really concept, remember. honestly, in a lot of aspects. The ships themselves couldn't fa- travel faster than light. <laughs> I remember the ships transforming to fucking punch each other. I know. It was yeah. Hilarious. It was like, you know, honestly, it makes sense to put grappler arms on a ship. You even need to maneuver objects in space. You know, you might need to move an asteroid or some shit. But you yeah, know, but guys, I, what like, about the what about the dark matter accelerator from uh, Futurama, where the ship stays in place? Yo, space moves around it. That shit's cool, bruh. Good yeah. news, everyone. Fuck y'all. Right? See, Futurama was a national treasure. Yes, it was. It was. It was one of the best shows. <laughs> Futurama was a national treasure. It's true. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, I did like Yeah, Star- you are, I David. I like the Stargate. The Stargate system was pretty neat. The, the actual gate? Yeah, the actual yeah, gate. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I never, I never, I wasn't sure that they actually explained the science other than it was a... No, no it was just, never. it was space magic. Space, space was, magic and yeah. water. The gods yeah, gave this to us. <laughs> oh, yeah, space magic, yeah. Kind of like Thor, space magic. A little bit, yeah. Thor, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, but Thor is supposed to be magic and space yeah. magic. Yeah, I know. And then they made so, him just yeah. magic. And then they just made him space magic, and it was... So yeah, this show. That's actually a good one. Good job, Tim. Maybe. Why? Well, all right, I was gonna. I'm sorry. Okay. The show was okay. I think it was a little light. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm you know, head, honestly, the monastery. You know, I, I'm done. Honestly, I, th- I think the next time Tim needs to be a little less light on the research. Yeah, you know? definitely. It says the guys that have never researched anything except the time I told them to research, and now rag on me for not researching the hey, one I time I research my research. shit all the time. Yeah, my hey, shows are research. research all the time. I re- yeah, it's, yes, I do. We don't research other people's shit. 
We research our own shows. You didn't yeah. research your own show. Um, eat a fuck off. I don't mean to get really like how mean, does, but we're... how does one eat a fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, man. I well, imagine it's not too pleasant unless you're into that sort of thing. First, you should have studied. Get someone to fuck off, and then yeah, this would have been a more. Uh, you're you're like the Vinkman off. right now. You never studied. <laughs> if you studied, maybe we would have had more of a uh, lighthearted show. You know, there are so many synonyms for light, but you guys just had to keep using the same one. And yeah, that's, basically. That's, Basically, that's, what, that's, what that's the most. The most about that's it. the most like, condescending no way evolution. we can do it. There's no evolution <laughs> to the to the pun. It's just it's just. Oh, it's so lighthearted in here. Well, Tim, that's pretty bright what? of you. Oh, see, <laughs> there, you go. there you go. Good job. <laughs> well, at least the show didn't get too dark. I mean, you know. You're starting <laughs> to shine now. You're starting to shine now, Sean. <laughs> joke's a good one. That's, that's good. <laughs> I like that. Oh man! But keep in mind, Phil gets the special star. True. Oh, okay, Tim. Now that was a pun and now, a, and okay, a pun. okay, 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 okay. So back on topic. There is an exoplanet out there that they've discovered that actually <laughs> its the surface actually absorbs light, like it doesn't oh, reflect fuck, it. Yeah, it's just that's fucking cool. dark. That's great. Let's take uh, let's uh, let's get that and make the next like the the best bass guitar ever, most metal guitar ever. I imagine, what? I imagine that whatever, <laughs> if anything, extremophiles could live on that planet, they would be the most badass metal fucking creatures in the entire universe. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, a similar topic. Yeah, the they've even they the the Dyson sphere that they've supposedly discovered. Okay, they they still. I'm not sure that they actually believe that they actually. Uh, they go back and forth it. on it. Um, yeah, well, yeah, you, you you probably know more about they, it. I they can't explain what it is, but they're tr- really, really trying not to say that it's aliens. Yeah, they're really trying not to, but they the every explanation they come up with for the to explain it is they, there's a there's a star, I think it's like twenty light years or so away from yeah. us that um, has an unusual variance in brightness. That um, based on the size and the dimness and the frequency at which it changes the, the brightness, they suspect that there is something orbiting incredibly close to this star um, uh, shrouding it. And they, they, a lot of the theories, fan theories, the physicist nerd fanboys that, you know, are that sit there and go, oh, it's got to be a Dyson sphere. It, you know, there's a, that's they think it's a Dyson sphere. And I'd I know be really, that I'm not I'd be it. really fucking happy if it was. You know, I, I don't necessarily too, think like, it don't is. Don't jump to it, man. Just don't Guys, jump to it. why don't you explain what Dyson spheres are for the audience and uh, you know, those of us that don't know? Okay, uh, a Dyson sphere, basically, uh, first we got to explain types of civilizations. Uh, yeah, right? so that is a, an advanced form of civilization uh, a technology that suggests a civilization has learned to harness the uh, inherent energy of, a, of their star, uh, much the way that we do with solar panels, except on the scale that they have built an object around the sun to cultivate its energy from up close. Yeah. Cool. We are like a type zero Civilization yeah, we aren't even on the scale. On the scale. Yeah, like the, there are actually several different scales. Um, there's the classic th- uh, uh, three type scale where uh, it's actually a four type because type zero is counted, where three is the high- highest. Obviously, uh, the Dyson sphere itself, I believe, would be from a type one civilization. The Dyson sphere, yes. as they're t- uh, talking one about and it, above. yeah, because they like it, it, it. It's based on how much energy it, they learn to harness yeah. and how. Yeah, and there are also other scales that were developed later on in the um, uh, later on as science fiction developed to include in the, uh, even even more different uh, different types of scales and subscales and stuff like that. In the three point scale, the, it's the the energy the energy usage 
the energy harnessing that they suggest is based on uh, like the first the scale one has learned to harness the, the power of their sun and probably doesn't travel very much. Scale two that. learns how to harness their galaxy. No, no wait, 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 wait. That's not true. The That's super not true. cluster of their sun. Uh, there's a super cluster, which is to say there I'm are. Look it up. I have looked at, you can go ahead to confirm it, but I think that the, the class two has learned to harness the energy within the stars of their super cluster, which is essentially stars that are gravitationally active okay. or gravitationally inter interacting with each other. Okay. Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev figured that uh, civilizations can be categorized by the total amount of energy available to them. He defined three levels of civilizations based on their capacity to harness and use power. These have since been expanded uh, by another four in light of the increasing wild speculation spawned by m marrying mathematics with theoretical physics. Kardashev, uh, the Kardashev scale, as it is called, now lists seven levels of civilizations based on their power consumption, the, impli uh, the implicity on their technological advancement and extension. Type zero, a civilization that harnesses the energy of its home planet, but not to its full potential just yet. That's Earth. As, uh, type one is a civilization that is capable of harnessing the total energy of its home planet. To okay, so type potential. two is the sun. Yes, type two, oh. an interstellar civilization capable of harnessing the total energy output of a star. Type three, a galactic civilization capable of inhabiting and harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. And then it goes up, uh, it, it scales upward. That's, that's a pretty steep scale. I mean, like, really? Type three has to be a whole fucking galaxy? Like that seems like that seems like they didn't really have much perspective. Well, well like what, what, like I was discussing earlier, if the electric sun diode model is correct, that means that uh, that means that all of these different power lines uh, or uh, conductive paths of plasma are connected throughout an entire galaxy. So if you could tap into that, you could technically harness the power of the galaxy. If <laughs> you know, I need a game based on this now. Yeah, I really want that, but we have some games that are kind of based off of it. You just, know, there's just like, know that um, if you No Man's Sky, but that's not based off of that specific form. No, it's, it's not galactic. And we don't talk about that. that. Why? <laughs> People are angry. Very angry about No Man's Sky. We don't need angry complaints. I haven't even tried it. I haven't even it's a letdown. Don't waste your time. And just remember, if you accidentally cut off the uh, energy mo uh, moving towards the your star, you might cause it to go supernova. Whoa! See, now I need that to See, be like the, the only concept, thing. The... the funniest thing about that is they used that concept in Doctor Who. Really. No, no, they didn't. I'm sorry. They used that con. They used something kind of like that concept to win that with the uh, the planet they got onto was the somehow they traveled there and it traveled through the sun of the planet or something like that. And then what? Uh, it was weird. Somebody destroy tried to destroy a whole solar system by sending a uh uh. I don't even remember the whole plot of it. It was just so weird. Good it, tangent, Tim. Screw you, man. It was about faster than light. I really hate how I actually look in a direction where I think someone is when I'm talking, even though I'm on the headset. Um, anyway, I was talking about an episode of some sci-fi show that I'm pretty sure it was Stargate, now that I think about it, where they... Was it Stargate or Doctor Who, man? I don't know. It seemed Doctor Whovian because he, like he's remembering. He's getting old. <laughs> it's all the it's all the Mary Janus. Actually, <laughs> Mary, marijuana is, in long term use is supposed to improve memory and not short term Look, memory. I, uh, <laughs> man, do I want to see your evidence of that? I don't know. I'll look for it. I'll get back to you. Look, look. Tim injected some marijuana once, and now he's gay. It's, it's okay, yeah. Tim. No. I mean, not. Nah, oh, so you were gay before you injected it? Gotcha. Phil, is being gay a problem? 
No. Uh, All right then. Him. Maybe I'll hit on him. Like, don't don't try to do this. We did this earlier. Yeah. No. The only the only the, this is no. Just no. <laughs> The He's so thrown off. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you guys. I'm watching a video of like people fucking off in gyms who should not be <laughs> allowed to be in a gym. <laughs> Why don't you, uh... I don't know. I got nothing. I feel that's... Uh, or, I mean, David, that's really uh, really good for the show, buddy. Thanks. Right? I didn't want to say it. I wasn't going to say it. I was going to tell him, why doesn't he watch videos about light? Yeah, so not to. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sean. Useless. I mean, I'm not even. I'm not even playing video games. You know, Tim's not playing video games. It was just in front of me, you fucking dickhead. I'd love to start playing video games. Good right God. Now. In any case, no. This, this is some episode of Stargate One, I believe it was, where they went SG1. to a, the solar system. Stargate One. SG One. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Stargate's oh. the movie. Uh, well, the show's uh, called Stargate SG-1, so... Yeah, that's it's what we're clarifying. No. Maybe. Fuck off. Well, I mean, no, it's not, because there are multiple Stargates, and SG-1 specifically refers to that one. No, it refers to their away team. Star SG-1. Right. Right. Anyway, so they went to another planet on their random, you know, spin through the roulette wheel of sort of Egyptian symbol and uh, when they got to this one they somehow basically created some self use activated some self destruct mechanism that the Gould had come up with that uh, because of the way the Stargates traveled across the galaxy it traveled through the sun of this uh, this solar system and was therefore going to cause the sun to go Nova now somehow I have no idea how they had it Anyway. Dope. Wait, what if the whole Stargate system worked on that premise? That entire premise? But it doesn't. It moves. It works on, like, space magic water? No. No, that's There's a... There's no water. Like, what if it actually... It's a wormhole, damn it. I know it's a wormhole, yeah. but what if it worked on that's that concept? Magic. Like, space magic. Yeah. Fucking and Event what if Horizon. that's what if that's how they travel? Yeah, Event Horizon was kind of space magic. But, um... But the wormholes, what if they traveled along the whole tube thing that they showed every time they stepped through, they were traveling through the conduits between the suns, and these just happened to channel their... Yeah. Mm, well, maybe, I guess. I mean, that's kind of the awesome. whole idea behind Stargate in the first place, is that the, the gates create a stabilized wormhole between these two points. Using right, space therefore, magic. no, using electric universe model, it's basically creating a physical pathway between two conduit points, two electrical conduit points, and I saying... I yeah. don't think that would work in physical space. You would have to fold space in order for, you know, you not to go through a sun or something and die. But they did that, and they didn't die. They just accidentally blew up a sun. Because, they because were movie magic. a fucking yeah, wormhole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a wormhole. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but somehow I, someone needs to make a gay joke there. I don't know. Yeah, or You're not. So, like, so, like, buddy. Man. I don't know. The homophobia is real. I is this, it, did, did you, are, are you are you excited for Big Daddy Pence? Is that what it is, man? Can we just fuck off and go home now? <laughs> <laughs> We're probably at about an hour. <laughs> probably. I don't care what we had. I'm just done. Like, (laughs) you guys have burned me out. I need my sunglasses now. (laughs) Uh, Too bright. All right, Tim. Close. uh, Close us out. Uh, lights out, guys. Uh, (laughs) Remember, you can find us on Stitcher, YouTube. SoundCloud, all that good stuff. iTunes, fucking all that. Um, Thanks for handling that. I had no idea where we put this stuff. I really... Don't burn too brightly, guys. Uh, uh, Friday, remember everyone, Pokemon comes out, so. Yeah. Uh, be hyped. I'm going to be playing yeah. that. Yeah, that's pretty much my entire weekend. 
<laughs> yeah. Come on. It's coming right to my door. Oh, I'm sent down. And guess right what? I got off. I got Sun, of course. That's what I'm getting. So Sun Bros. Woo! Sean, you can't you can't you can't call yourself that fuck off. I can, Phil. I can and I will. We're Sun Bros. Sun oh bros. no, you're not. Solar we bros. are though. Okay. Solar bros. You know right, you know where that's right, bye. 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 Fuck off.